inspire hi guys welcome to my youtube channel so in today's video i'll be showing you how to fix your keyboard not working after windows update from windows 10 to windows 11 so probably i have a pin on my laptop so the pin is a number but i try pressing the number keys nothing is going so the keyboard is actually not working so I have checked it is not a hardware problem so it's a problem which is caused from inside that is the software problem either it's, it can be from the driver or it's from the registry editor so guys I will just shut down the computer and show you that it is probably working the keyboard is probably working in BIOS mode and we are going to use an on screen keyboard or if you have a virtual keyboard you can plug it in and we fix the keyboard all right guys so i'm going to put the computer on to show you that the keyboard is working in bios mode so once i turn the computer on i'm just going to press the, the key to put my computer in bios mode so i'm going to press f9 to take boot device option so if i can press f9 and it works therefore means the fault is not from the keyboard but from within so that I've pressed F9 and it works. So if I can move this key up and down, it therefore means the keyboard is fine, but just can work in Windows. So this is probably some common issues that happen to Windows 10 and Windows 11 after updating them. So I'm just going to boot the computer up and we we'll try to fix this using three or four methods. So okay guys, so my computer has a password, but since I can't access this, so I just have to use my mouse and I bring the on-screen keyboard. So you can use an external keyboard for this or you use an on-screen keyboard. Okay guys, so the very first method is to hit on start. So once you start, you go to Device Manager. Let me zoom this for understanding. So once you're on this, you go to Keyboard to expand Keyboard. So you check if you have this keyboard driver, the standard PS2 keyboard. So if it's there, you right click, you take on update driver so there are two things we are going to do here so once you're connected to the internet you search automatically for drivers if it says the best driver is already installed you close this and the second option is to right click again you take on update driver and you browse my computer for drive so you select let me pick from a list and you're going to see the driver for your computer standard ps2 keyboard so once you click it will install and start the system once you restart the system that fix your problem is now so the second method we are going to is the of filter keys sometimes filter keys cause these issues so we're going to open up settings so on settings we go to accessibility so on accessibility you look for keyboard so once we press once we click on keyboard we're going to get this option sticky filter and toggle keys so if the filter keys is turned on if the filter key is turned on, you turn it off and you restart your computer if that solved your problem. So these two methods, I already tried them, so it's not worth it because I recently updated from Windows 10 to Windows 11. So I'm going to try another method which is common and I used that method one year ago and it worked. So I'm going to try this method. If it works for you, then good. So to do this, 
we have to bring our on-screen keyboard if you don't have an external keyboard so you go to all apps once you click on start so you look for the folder called accessibility so you expand accessibility so you are going to get on-screen keyboard so you bring your on-screen keyboard so we have our on-screen keyboard so i'm going to minimize this so you go to the search logo and on the search logo you search rec like reg sorry guys you search for rec like reg so it's going to bring this up registry editor so you right click and you run as administrator so you give it yes so on h key local machine on h key local machine that's a folder will be working so you expand this you select system once you expand system we look for current control set so you expand current control set you expand control so once you expand control you look for class you expand class so there are so many classes here guys so if you had watched my previous video i mentioned that you can school from number one right up to the number 28 class to find the folder which will be working on so the folder which will be working on has a name called 96b so i'm going to scroll down and show you for easy understanding okay nine six b so let me zoom this so you can see this is it 4 d 36 e 96 b so once you click on it you come on the right hand side the first thing you have to do is you check if the no install class has a data of one and the upper filters we double click on it it has a name called kdb class it has its name called kdb class like this sorry guys it has a name called kdb class so if that is set If that is set, you click on OK and you restart the computer. So once you restart the computer, if that fixes the problem, that's it. So the last method which I'll be doing is we have to check if after the update there was an additional driver. So I will right click on start. I will go to device manager so on device manager I will go to my human interface scroll down to human interface so you can see the human interface so on human interface I take notice of all these drivers they were already present on the laptop so but there was another additional driver which is installed and it didn't come with the laptop so that driver is the last driver which is the usb input device so you check if you have two of these device like sorry two of this driver the usb input device driver you disable the drivers so I'm going to disable this driver. You can as well uninstall the device, but if you uninstall the device, once you restart the computer, it will automatically install. So it's probably a bug. So what we are going to do is you disable the device. So disabling the device will cause it to stop.
so I'm going to click yes so once you disable that device you go ahead to restart the computer and if that problem is solved therefore the issue is fixed so I'll restart the computer and see if the issue is fixed so probably just shut down the computer and you boot up the computer so our computer has been shut down so I'm going to boot the computer on so guys our computer is turned on so we have to check if our keyboard is now working properly so I will type in a number voila so our computer keyboard is actually working so that's it guys so I'm going to type in my pin so I'll open a text document to show you that my keyboard is probably working Okay guys, so my keyboard is probably work working. Thanks for watching. Please ensure to like this video, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video.